All right, so here's the updated video. This should be very helpful. Um, so right here, you see I've clicked on here. I want to have the sound coming out, so obviously I hit the I. And you can see I'm getting a signal, but my amp tone from my Axe Effects isn't coming out. Um, there's no sound. This goes for anything. You don't have to use an Axe Effects. So there's a couple ways that we're going to diagnose this. Um, we'll go through the basic ones and then the more complicated ones. This should fix your problem. Um, so we're going to go up to Logic Pro X here, Preferences, Audio. And then here, you're going to want to make sure you have your output device as either your system setting or if you're using something like a Scarlett Focusrite or any other type of interface and you want it to come out through your headphones, then you change it to whatever it is here. So for me, I would do the Axefex, but I don't want that. I want it coming out of my computer speakers through my stereo. So I'm just going to do system setting, input is Axefex, apply changes. Um, now if that still doesn't work, you're still not getting sound coming out then obviously there's more of a problem. This is where the main video I wanted to make comes in. So what we need to do is we're gonna go to view up here at the top. We're gonna go down to customize control bar and display. We're gonna go over to here and do software monitoring. So and then it's gonna give us this little bell. I'm gonna click out of it. Now I'm gonna turn on that bell and now we got signal so that's what you have to do there and of course that little orange eye needs to be on and you need to be clicked on the track one other thing if you're not getting sound there is you need to check your master track volume make sure it's up and it's not all the way down because that will cause you to not get any volume coming out of your computer if you have any questions let me know thanks